Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna look at an introduction to ChatGPT to see what it's all about, and then we're gonna do a brief demo of the platform. So let's go ahead and jump into the material. So what exactly is ChatGPT? You've probably seen or heard a lot of hype about it already. It's all over the internet. But I went out to ChatGPT and I actually asked the question of ChatGPT itself. And this is how it described itself. It said, hello, I'm ChatGPT, a large language model created by OpenAI. I've been trained on a vast corpus of text data using advanced machine learning algorithms, which allows me to understand and generate human-like language. I can answer a wide range of questions and engage in conversations on various topics. My goal is to assist users in finding information and providing useful insights. So that's a pretty broad definition. I went out, I am a uh, author a lot of technical material. I author things on software development, cloud computing, and a number of other things. And so I tested it out and we're gonna look at a demonstration here. I think it's better to go ahead and see an example of what it can do uh, versus reading the definition. But I just want to frame the context that it is an AI model. You can sign up for a free account. However, the free account is being bombarded right now, and uh, you may have problems getting in. They do have a paid tier, which is very reasonable. It's only $20 a month. But we'll go ahead and look at it. But let's look at a little bit more detail of what you can use ChatGPT for. So some of the applications or high-level use cases where ChatGPT can be used is number one, customer service, number two, personal assistant, three, education. It can be used to help students learn by answering questions and providing explanations, four, content creation, five, research, six, mental health. ChatGPT can be used to provide emotional support and guidance for individuals struggling with mental health issues. And number seven, entertainment, to provide personalized recommendations for movies, TV shows, and books. So that's a really wide variety of use cases. Let's dig a little bit deeper. So what are some of the limitations of ChatGPT? One is a limited understanding of context. While ChatGPT is able to generate human-like responses, it does not have a true understanding of context. And as a result, it may sometimes provide irrelevant or inaccurate information. Two, it's biased on its training data. Like any AI model, it has a bias towards the data that it was trained on. And it's even though it's a large data set, it can sometimes contain biases that are reflected in the responses. Number three is the lack of emotional intelligence. ChatGPT is not able to understand or express emotions in the same way that humans can. So this can limit its ability to provide effective emotional support. Number four is the inability to reason abstractly. While ChatGPT is able to generate responses based on patterns in its training data, it's not able to reason abstractly or understand concepts outside its training data. And then number five is limited multiple, multiple lingualism. While ChatGPT can generate responses in many different languages, its ability to understand and generate language is limited to the languages it's been trained on. So that's a, you know, a fairly wide set of limitations, but I think to really understand the tool, you really have to give it a try. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that here in just a second. So since I have a strong interest in software development, I put in this slide for what possibly ChatGPT can be used for programmers. One is it can be used for research and education. Two, ChatGPT can generate code fragments. And it's not that it's gonna generate a complete program for you, but it can generate a baseline or a fragment of code that you can use as a baseline to build on. And number three, it can accelerate development in a new language. Say you're learning a new programming language, you're not familiar with the syntax, you're tired of Googling all over the place to get some uh, bits and pieces of a language. So it can help you accelerate development, perhaps if you're learning a new language, something like Google Go or something like that. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and jump into our demonstration. I'm going to show you a couple of different things. I'll show you generating some text, how to generate a code fragment and what it looks like and generating a, some sample code from that. So let's go ahead and jump into the platform. Okay, here we are in ChatGPT. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in a question that I've prepared earlier. So let's go ahead and look at the output of this. This is describe the steps of the software development life cycle. And this is in real time, so let's see what ChatGPT generates. 
and I happen to know a lot about the software development life cycle, so I'll be able to judge its output here, uh, probably as well as many of you as well. But this is in real time here, so it's, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but yet for what it's doing, I think it's pretty amazing. So it's going through the steps, planning, analysis, design, implementation, testing, deployment, and let's see where it, it rounds out, the maintenance phase. And then finally, let's see, and that's it. So that's our first sample output. It's adequately described the software development life cycle in pretty good detail. And you can drill down with further questions about that. You can drill down to each phase if you want more detail uh, about each phase and it will flush that out for you. Let's go ahead and try something else. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our next example. I wrote how describe how to write a bubble sort in the C programming language. So let's see what it comes up with here. It's doing it on the fly for the first time as me as well. So let's see what happens here. And notice now that it's actually writing the code for the bubble sort. And it's putting it in a copy code block, which is very handy. And it's now putting out the code. So once it's done, you can use the copy code. You can paste it in your own environment and give this algorithm a try. So it put out the code for the bubble sort and now it's putting in the, uh, the top layer of how to call this, a brief description of it, and then showing you how to iterate. So if you're trying to do some training on a particular subject like this, this can come in very handy where you can get a baseline piece of code. Perhaps you have to implement something like this, and um, this is what it put out. So this is an example of this. Again, it puts it out in the code. And then like other things in here, you can also drill down for more detail. Let's go ahead and look at one more example. All right, I've put in one more example. I have a strong interest in cloud computing, so let's see what we can get as far as a description of Amazon's S3 storage service. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with here. So first it's starting with the definition and following up with a little bit more details about the service. It's also now um, following up with just a little bit more detail. Let's see how, how far it goes. It's talking about the storage tiers and the storage cost. And it also is talking a little bit about the security features of S3 and so on. And so with I found with playing around with this is you can get a baseline description. And then if you want more detail, you can follow up in the same chat with more detailed questions about S3. For example, how you might create a storage bucket, uh, those types of things. So I think you can get the idea here. This is a really incredible tool, and I, this is just the first iteration of this. So I think you can expect a lot of uh, a lot of innovation going in on this platform, and a lot of competition. Other services will certainly follow. I've used some other uh, AI services as well. They haven't been as complete as this one, so this one really seems to have a wide variety of training. And the fact that it can generate code in the code blocks is very interesting for me. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. In summary, ChatGPT is a new and exciting technology. There are other similar products out on the market. I've used uh, Jasper before and a couple of others. But other AI products are quickly coming into the market with unique products and services. So I'd look for a lot more of these types of services to come out. And if you want to follow up, I've put the URL for ChatGPT where you can sign up for a free account. But I will warn you, there is a ton of use out there. And the free account is... Uh, uh, doesn't have a guaranteed service level. So a lot of times it's overwhelmed by usage right now. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for your interest in this video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. And you can check out my classes on my website at courses.destinlearning.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.